everyone. Welcome in. This is Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah Presents me. I'm Deborah, and this is the vloggy thing. This is the Saturday vloggy thing. This is number 33. Uh, not to be confused with Vlogtober or Crochettober, which is going on every day of this month, if I can help it. <laughs> trying, trying real hard. Um, <clears throat> Thank you for coming in, um, and let's just jump into what's been going on. It's been kind of a crazy week with work, 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 trying to get out Vlogtober videos every day, trying to keep up with the make-alongs. Woo! It's tough, but so far I'm kind of keeping up, so yay for that. Um, also in life stuff, well, we are officially down to one car. Um, yeah, the beige mobile is no more. That was the hubby's car, by the way. My car is still kicking. And uh, it did its usual once every three month thing of making the brake lights not work. So we'll fix that tomorrow. That's a fuse that blows out about every three months. We don't know why, but it does. And no, it's not under warranty. We're not fancy like that. We have old cars, okay? So yeah, that's a thing. We'll take care of it. Not that big of a deal right now, especially since I work from home. One car is not a problem. So into yarny things. There are yarny things this week, y'all. I have, let's see, two finished objects. They're both divine hats. These are both to go to crochet by night uh, for her drive. And also tomorrow after we fix the brake lights, we are going to Walmart to pick up some things. And while I'm there, I'm going to pick up a pack of socks to send as well. This is for people in need. It's for homeless folks, a whole bunch of different things. That they're helping with her thing. And I will have her linked below. She's been linked below on all of my vloggy videos. since I found out about her little drive, which ends at the end of this month. So a couple of hats, a pack or two of socks, just, you know, a little something, something that could help. So that's where these are for. And yeah, and see this green yarn. This is from a care on one pound. And I have something pretty cool to show you about the care on one pound. It ended up with the perfect center pull. Oh, but I don't have a light behind me to show you. And that's really a shame because you can see all the way through, or at least you could before I brought it in here. Nope, some of it collapsed. Some of it did collapse, but it had a perfectly see-through hole. You could see through to the other side. That never happens to me. I'm usually in Yarn Barf City and it's usually a mess. So yeah, that was just kind of a cool development with this ball of yarn. Now, that said with those two finished objects, I do have whips aplenty. Whips aplenty. Oh, and see the cubes? See the cubes? I'm happy with my cubes. Um, oh, before I get to the whips, I did acquire something. I went ahead and signed up for Sip Spy, my own money, no sponsorship, blah, blah, blah. I, I am not that special, but I'm going to start doing tea tastings and, and reviews. I'm um, not sure when that's going to start, eh. but sometime in the next couple of weeks, I'd like to do one a week because there are four different varieties of tea in here that, and I will get four varieties of tea every month. I've done this for three months. If I'm really jazzed by it and I feel like it's a good value for me, I will continue with it. The little box is nice and what they send is really nice. It, it's nice looking tea. Um, but yeah, it was $45 for three months. You can get it cheaper if you purchase more, you know, in the series, but I just did the little one at first. So it's $15 a month and it's not just three tea bags. No, you actually get a bunch of tea with it. So I thought that was pretty cool. Enjoy your teas. I intend to, I have opened it and look, I have not tried any of them yet. So I'm looking forward to that when I have a quiet moment in my life. <laughs> sometime, sometime soon, sometime soon. Okay, to the whips. Just playing around, relaxing in front of the TV with some cotton. Um, no pattern here. What I'm doing is I start off with, of course, my foundation chain and then a row of double crochets. And then I do, uh, how did I do that? And then I have another row of double crochets and then I start doing front post and back post. But then I do two front posts and back posts back to back 
and then a row of just double crochet so it's not continuous. It has a really nice texture for a washcloth or a dishcloth because of those raised bumps on it. And it's not really hard. You're not struggling with a really tight back post double crochets. I have not done a tutorial on front post or back post crochets yet, but I will. Um, coming up though, my uh, tutorial for my towel toppers is like a little series. So and remember, my tutorials are all from the beginning. They are designed for a beginner. But you know what? We might all have something to learn. So, and I know I'm still a beginner. I just started crocheting this year. So I'm no expert. Although I am wearing some of my own makes right now. I'm just saying. This was the first wearable that I ever made. Uh, it's Creatively Creative Crochets, Dana Triple C. It's her prosperity tea. Yeah. And then the hat followed thereafter because, well, I had the yarn. Got two bags right here. These are my whips. This is adorable. And if you have watched my um, Vlogtober, you have seen this grow and grow and grow. I still have ends to weave in from today's. Look. Yes. I am super pleased with this. I love how colorful it is. It's colorful and scrappy and I sort of commit myself to one round a day. Now, even if the yarn runs out, I'll start another one to finish that round and then just stop when I get to the end. Um, now that it's getting this big, it takes me a hot minute to get around this thing. So I can't just whip it out in five minutes. So yes, and this one here, uh, this is for the Pick and Mix Cow. The Pick and Mix Cow put on by Miss Lisa Ladybird Loves. We are starting week two. We started week two on Thursday. Um, the next color that got chosen by the Spinny Wheelie thing was number two. This is my number two. This is Burnt Orange in Big Twist Value. I've got a string hanging. I have not started my rounds yet in that. And... See, I've got my little card with my little stringies telling me what it is. And on the back next to each one, I have what the yarn is, just in case I, you know, have a brain fart and can't figure out what yarn it is. But I'm also writing down what week, um, what stitch it is too. Week one was the waistcoat stitch. I love the way the waistcoat stitch looks. It's not a technically difficult stitch to do. However, it is murder on my fingers. I practically wore blisters on my thumb and my first finger, so I'm glad that one's over. Um, but yeah, I do love the way the waistcoat stitch looks. It just you know, looks like knit. It's really cool. Um, this week, though, it is the textured wave. And I know that Lisa actually did a tutorial on that particular stitch several weeks ago. So she has that linked on her channel. I've got to refresh my brain with it. I think I kind of remember. I never tried it. I watched it. And I thought, yeah, that's a really cool stitch. And then promptly went off and did something else. You know how that goes. So that is my little go bag for that. And this is absolutely no progress from the last time I showed this the other day. But let's see. This is was the first row, my foundation chain, and then a row of uh, extended linked double crochets. Then I did four rows of waistcoat. A lot of people added more because the waistcoat is smaller because it's based on a single crochet. I said, no, I'm not doing any more than four rows of that. I don't want to have a blister for like the next two weeks. Um, and this is my in between, my main color rows. And my main color is Latte Stripe uh, by uh, Super Saver, Red Heart Super Saver. So you can kind of see the color changing on that as you go through. My next four rows will be that textured wave stitch that I just mentioned. And then two more rows of my joined extended, extended joined double crochet. Yeah, that one, which I actually have a tutorial for on, on my crochet from the beginning series. So yeah, it's there. But right now, not quite a lapkin or a blanket, more like a pathetic excuse for a scarf. <laughs> but it'll get there because this is only the start of week two. So I'm happy about that. Coming up, lots of stuff. Uh, have the tea tastings and reviews. I don't know exactly what days I'm going to be doing those yet. All this month, Vlogtober slash Crochettober, doing that with uh, Neva from Manic Mama Musings, um, Ashley from Stitching Ain't Easy, Llama Mama Kayla is doing it as well. Um, oh gosh, 
I just drew a blank on the rest of the names. I'm so bad. Oh, Ella, no catchy name. She's doing it as well. If you're not keeping up with her, you should do that. Uh, she is going to have a little girl at the beginning of the year. And she's very excited about that. And it's, you know, she's doing some prep for it and stuff as far as crochet work and, you know, doing her usual stuff. Love Ella. I've been watching her since pretty much since I came to YouTube. Yeah. Um, oh gosh. Everybody will be linked below that I know of that's doing the Vlogtober and Crochettober. So please be sure. Check out the description. And not just in my video. Whenever you see somebody's video, you, you follow them, you watch them, and you may want more information, check that description below the video. You never know what you might find. Sometimes there's really awesome information in there. Speaking of information in my description down below, I have got um, a little information on if you would like postcards. I would love to swap postcards with you. And in there, it, it's just an easy way to do it with me. Basically, it gives you my email address and says, hey, send me an email and put postcard in the subject line. So I kind of knows what, it, what it's about and know that it's not spam and I can, you know, open it up and read it. Um, everybody that has sent me messages wanting postcards so far, I have responded to an email as well, given my information and your postcards are in the mail. Some of them will take a while to get there. There is, there is at least one going to Australia. Uh, there were two that were sent to the UK and different places around the country as well. So much fun. And I, yes, international. I am all about international. Speaking of international, I have been mentioning lately that once I hit 500 subscribers, that I would do a big giveaway. Well, I looked at my channel a little bit earlier and I hit 500. What? So... It's not happening in this video though. No, I have to prep. I have to get it together. That happened faster than I thought it would. I thought it wouldn't be until like November, December sometime. You guys are awesome. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, um, I will have a giveaway prepped by next week and it will be international. That's right. As long as you can receive mail from me, you can win. Yeah. Tell a friend, bring some more folks along. And all that I ask you to do, just watch. Leave me a comment if you can. I enjoy that. I enjoy commenting back and forth. I'm not the fastest at responding because I do work a full-time job and I've got, you know, crazy stuff going on. But sometimes it takes me a few days, but I do respond. At the very least, I put a heart in there that you know I have seen your comment. Thank you. I appreciate you. And I enjoy the interactions. I've even found some folks who are kind of local-ish to me. Yes. Someday we're going to be doing a meetup. We will at least meet for lunch or maybe for yarn shopping because down by you is where all the good stuff is. I ain't got nothing up here. So <laughs> you know who you are. Thank you so much for coming by today. Appreciate you. And want to get to know all of my Yarny peeps better. This is the most awesome community is the Yarny community. And uh, you guys are what does it. I will see you very soon. Very soon. <laughs> Giveaway coming up next week. Yes. <laughs> see y'all. Bye now.